I'm Jim Lee. I'm the publisher and chief creative officer for DC Comics. Yeah, I travel quite a bit for both business and conventions. And, you know, you can only take two bags on, right, as carry-on. And so I was always conflicted, like, what to take. Sometimes I bring a large enough bag where I can squeeze a portfolio in, um, but it was less than ideal, right? Um, and, I, and I was thinking in my head, like, wouldn't it be awesome if there was a backpack where I can actually put my art supplies and my artwork in there and also put my laptop and things I need to access while I'm traveling. That would be the best of both worlds because I can consolidate two bags into one. I've got brushes, I've got markers, pencils, erasers, whiteout, all sorts of different pieces of artwork and art supplies. And then on top of it, I've got usually an iPad or a laptop that I need to bring. It's nice to have a bag that allows me to carry all of it and be organized so I know where everything is. If you could create a backpack where you could pull the portfolio out, now you've actually got a situation where you've got um, flexibility to carry exactly what you need. So I've got essentially a lighter, smaller version of my backpack uh, that I can basically transform into a, a portfolio and take to a show with me. I travel these little bottles of ink and they usually seal pretty well, but sometimes when you go up in, you know, to 30,000 feet and back down, they can explode on you. And I've had horrible messes in my backpacks where the black permanent ink is exploding onto all your other art or your clothes or whatever. I mean, it's a mess. I thought it would be great to have a waterproof compartment in a backpack. And uh, you know, while we were testing the prototype, I, it actually exploded on me. It didn't leak out, it didn't damage anything else. It worked perfectly. So uh, a buddy of mine turned me on to Hex Backpacks, and I like the fact that they were actually sitting down with the people that actually use these backpacks to help design the backpacks and, and really customize them for their specific needs. When we started thinking about how to make this bag more unique, we wanted to incorporate some of what I do. And you know, as a chief creative officer and publisher and as an artist, you know, we work with these iconic characters. So we're thinking, hey, it'd be awesome to move, you know, to kind of work Batman into this design. But we didn't want to do it to the point where it becomes a Batman backpack. And so I created a unique piece of uh, art and then we printed that in the kind of a uh, electric blue and we use that as a sort of a liner for the backpack itself. It's just a subtle call out to sort of the history and the origins of this bag. You know I think the great thing about being able to customize your own bag or create your own bag was uh, I got to go look through all these different fabrics and colors and it was just like almost too much in a way uh, but then there was like oh this one color that jumped out at me it was this gunmetal color. It just makes the, the bag look kind of tough. There's some really really nice uh, subtle elements to the whole design uh, of the entire bag. So when we start talking about like an ideal backpack for a comic book creator or a comic book creative, um, my mind just started racing to all these other things that you could create. And one of them was a backpack dedicated to people that go to comic book conventions, people that collect comics. If there were a bag where you could put your comics and have them be safely stored and be able to go through the con and buy the things you wanted, and know that they were being safely transported and uh, that would be ideal and there's really nothing like it. Well, I've been buying comics since I was 12, selling them since I was probably around 17 years old. I was a fan of comic books, vintage comic books, really expensive, rare comic books, as well as new comic books coming out. So we kind of built a store that catered to those people. This backpack also caters to uh, people that are like-minded with me. You go to a convention, traditionally what you would do is you would have a bag, and sometimes in that bag you have, you know, a comic book worth several thousand dollars or more. Well, it's not very safe. In a way, the backpack itself, once you open it up, it, it looks like a file folder. It has these sleeves so you can put your, your uh, you know, bagged and boarded comics or your, your slab comic books into each sleeve so you know exactly where your comics are you know they're super protected. It's got um, room for, I'm gonna guess, 12 to 15 graded books and uh, there's a really cool feature on the top where you can actually lock the top so that if uh, you do have some valuable books sometimes you're walking around with let's say a hundred thousand dollar book you want to have that well protected what do we have in here oh it happens to be a fantastic 4-1 8.5 this is uh, upwards of hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's mine you can't have it it doesn't come with a bag something like this was necessary and I think it's going to be very popular. I w I'm a buyer for it. So on both sides, you have an expandable pocket. It has a place for your uh, Overstreet price guide. If you're walking around 
uh, buying comics, you probably know what an Overstreet Price Guide is. So the interior art is by Jim Lee. So your bag in itself is a piece of art. You enjoy something that not everybody else has. You enjoy collecting these things. So am I, trust me. So uh, I'm super excited to share this uh, exclusive uh, premium backpack. So what's cool about this version of the bag is that it has this piece of art by Jim Lee. This is going to be a limited number. Uh, once they're gone, they will not be repeated. So get yours while you can. And it has these awesome Batman pulls here. It looks almost like a Batarang. So you'll see a bunch of these on here. I love them. So this is uh, pretty cool.